Hey guys, Eddie here at HypeStore.com. Today we're going to be talking about chainsaw chains. What's the difference between full chisel, semi chisel, skip chains, and why it's important to use the right one for the job? So before we get into the main topic, let's take a look at the parts of a chainsaw chain. This will make it a little easier to understand exactly what we're talking about. It will also help you understand what you're choosing when you order a new chain. So chainsaw chains are made up of cutters, links, tie links, and rivets. When you order your chain, you're going to look for a set of numbers to get the correct one for your bar. These numbers are the pitch, drive length number, and gauge. The bar length is also important, but these three numbers are really all you need as the combination of them will give you the correct length and size. So pitch is very generally the distance between the drive lengths of the chain. It is measured as the half length of the distance between three rivets. Larger pitch equals a larger chain. Common sizes these days are 325 thousandths of an inch and 3 eighths of an inch. Drive length number is exactly that. How many drive lengths are on the chain? These are the lengths that insert into and are driven by the bar. The more lengths, the longer the chain basically. The gauge is the measurement of the thickness of the drive length where it seats into the bar. Obviously here it must seat properly or the chain would seize or be too loose. Most chainsaw bars are going to have this info written on them for easy identification. Now that we have some understanding of the basics, let's look at the types of cutting teeth and how they can differ. The most common type of cutter that most homeowners will use is the semi-chisel. You can identify a semi-chisel cutter by the curved shoulder on the edge of the tooth. These are generally less aggressive than other types. They stay sharper longer, they're easier to sharpen, and they're less prone to kickback. However, they do cut slower than a full chisel. A full chisel cutter is identified by its very sharp shoulder. These take large chunks and cut very fast, but are best for commercial use or experienced users. The reason for this is that they are more prone to kickback, they're harder to sharpen, and they dull faster, as the teeth are more sensitive to dirt and debris wearing them down. Along with these cutters, there are other specialty types. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this video, and if you are, please consider giving us a thumbs up, commenting below, and subscribing to the channel. We'll have more great videos every week. The low profile or low pro chain. These use shorter cutters. They make a shallower cut and they weigh less, which means they are safer and better for saws with lower horsepower or even electric saws. Second is the narrow kerf chain. As with the low pro chains, they remove less wood, but they can also cut quicker with some lower power saws as there's less friction. The third specialty is not about the cutter necessarily, but about the links between the cutters. With anti-kickback chains, these will have a bit of extra metal on them to smooth the gap created as the chain goes around the nose of the bar. Essentially, this helps prevent the bar snagging and kicking back on less experienced users. It's good for general yard work and cleanup, but it does have the disadvantage, such as often limiting the ability to bore or plunge cut. Now, those three features can also be combined in one chain. The fourth special variety is the ripping chain. These are generally used for milling along the length of a log or with the grain. They have cutters that have a lower angle than standard. They make finer cuts and are less aggressive, but are not very common unless you have a chainsaw mill. So that about covers the common cutters and their different specialty configurations, but there are also chains with different arrangements of cutters. These are often referred to as standard, full skip, and semi-skip. Standard chains have a cutting tooth every other link. They are the smoothest cutting chains and the most versatile. They are found in gas powered as well as battery powered and electric saws. They are best though only for bars up to 24 inches as they produce more drag than the next two types. The full skip have a cutter every third drive length. Since there is less drag produced they can be used with larger bars and larger saws. They are also less prone to clogging. The drawbacks is that they are not great for small cuts and they are much more prone to kick back and are not as smooth they tend to vibrate more. The semi-skip is a compromise of the previous two. Half the teeth are like a standard chain and half like a full skip in an alternating fashion. Though not as popular as the other two, they do offer an extra bit of flexibility. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and if you did, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel where we're gonna have more videos like these coming in the future. And also join us at Hype at DIY Community Facebook group. It's a great place to meet other people who are interested in DIY repair as well as get instruction for something, get advice, or just talk to uh, Hypa customer service. Check us out at hypastore.com. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.